As I said in my Rat Catcher review, there was something about the end that I took in a rather dark way. We get to see James as he's sitting at the canal where his friend died at the start. He's been afraid of the water all the way through the, the, the same movie since then, uh, reluctant to go into it. And we see him pretty much jump into that water to sink below the surface. They then jump to the next image of um, the housing estate that was being built and that rolling field of, of hay and, and things that were just wonderful, that golden uh, landscape that he saw through the window in that house, one that he went to play with. Now we know that that was almost at the back of the house because the bus dropped him off, he goes wandering and then discovers that uh, building estate. But at the end of the movie, we see our character of James jump into the water and then we get to see the family each carrying one object as they walk towards their new home. And it kind of leads towards the fact that yes, they got home. They got home in the place where James found joy. He enjoyed exploring in that beautiful landscape and they're walking across that beautiful golden field towards their future, their house, their new beginnings, where everything's going to be all right. But it doesn't make sense. You know, why are they all carrying one item? Why are they walking across the field? Why aren't they there at the front of the house going in? There's no path or road there in existence. We've seen James jump into the water and I'm pretty sure, and I take it as, James has died. James has died and this is his sort of final thought uh, of a world that could be. Uh, the, the tenement, uh, the lifestyle there, everything has just kind of wore him down uh, and he died a, a horrible, wet, soaking, drowning death. And it was one that just made me sit up, turn off the screen, and just think for a, a little bit about it. You know, that kind of emptiness, um, the world that he lived in, the kind of always on the edge because of the the people around you, the hope that, that kept him going, and it's almost as if he's lost his hope um, and taking punishment for what he believes he's guilty of in the past, things that happen at the start when the, the young boy dies because they're wrestling and holding each other under the water um, because he's left his friend uh, rather than helping him. Everything's just got on top of, of James. Um, probably the catalyst by J uh, Kenny who says, you know, I know what you did. I see, I saw you, I saw you, you killed him. Um, and that kind of, kind of pushes him a little bit. Uh, I, I would love... I would honestly love an argument to the contrary because I would love to think that they are actually going to that home. They are going to have a brighter future. Everything's going to be better. But I just cannot see that in the film that I watched. So please let me know you or what you thought of that ending. Uh, did you see something different? I would love to have a discussion with you. Let me know in the comment box below. We can see if we can hash this one out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.